Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project share. I made this really big like binder mail. I, I was watching Faithy's unboxing of some happy mail that she received from Mayochi. I think maybe, <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And on that unboxing, she received this really, really cool binder mail that Mayochi made for her. And so I really wanted to try it out because it was really, really gorgeous. And I will link that unboxing down below as well as Mayochi is a uh, YouTube channel uh, because really you have to see that unboxing she made so many beautiful things but I really like the binder so I wanted to give it a go and she also has a tutorial for it uh, on her channel so I'll link that as well I did change mine a bit I didn't really follow the tutorial although I did watch it and it's really really good she explains everything very very well uh, so I will link it down below but I love it I loved it so so much and I really wanted to try it out so I made this one for Laura as you can see here and yeah so let's see how I did it I used the papers they are mostly from uh, Marigold maybe there are some that are not but mostly there are Marigold and the ephemeras in the cover Mm, they're more of a mix. They have some marigold, as you can see, some willow lane here. I did some tearing uh, of paper because I really like how it looks. And some ruffles. I die cut these uh, letters on foam and stitched them on the vellum. And then I used this really cute uh, rosette here that Nicole sent to me. Uh, some thread. And that's what I used in here. Here I used two um, charms none of which i made because i cannot make this uh, i was sent this beautiful charm so i just put them in here because i thought it looked really really cool really cute as well and then on the back this just this really cool paper and i put the beautiful tag that uh, cheryl made me handmade with love by ephemeris i'm in love with this tag that she made me she was so nice to send them to me and so yeah let's open it up for the binding i just use three types of a trim i have this uh, oh, the stock okay I have this yellow trim here, it's really cool. And then I have this pink one and this tool one that I just tore a piece of the tool and I put it in here to make the binding and I think it looks pretty cool. And then uh, these things, seriously, this, these letters, they don't stick at all. I need to put some, use my glue gun to stick it better. But anyway, on this side, we have two boxes. On Mayochi's uh, tutorial, uh, hers are, you open it up like this, they are like drawers. And it's, it looks really cool on uh, the one she made. But uh, I didn't have the little handles that she put on her, on her books because they are books that you pull out and I didn't have it so I just made boxes because I thought it would look pretty cool as well and as you can see I used mostly marigold to decorate again I ripped uh, some paper and I did the same but in reverse on this side and then I just put some eyelets in here and used a what do you call this a brad to make the closure and then you open it up and it looks like this and I'm still gonna make this prettier of course but in here it just has a bunch of handmade embellishments that I made this one is a back topper then I made this cute little one using the in love art shop die and then this two I have already posted this ones on my Instagram there's just some chunky embellishments and then two more of the tiny envelopes and the vellum shaker library pockets that I made and actually these library pockets they have a pocket in here 
and they do have a pocket on top as well and there are shakers and these ones are the same pocket up top and here and then a pocket on the bottom and they are shakers same way in here with a beautiful rosette that Tina Marie sent me and the stitched ephemera this is so beautiful the fact that she stitched this all by hand is just insane to me but they look so pretty I already used half of the package that you sent me I just love it and then you close this one and then on this one and on this side it opens in the same way I made a little a little mini album I tried to make one where for her to put some photos I never I don't really usually do this type of album I decorate everything but I thought it would be fun she can put a photo in here and then she can put a photo in here maybe journal a little here and then the same in here this paper was already gridded so I left it plain and then this is the same thing she can just stuck a little photo in there if she'd like or she can decorate it further and send to someone else it's up to her here I did this closure and if you are wondering how I made this closure here I actually use my memory we are memory keepers uh, punch if you punched on this side is to make these boxes and so you have that let's see here you get that thingy where you can do that closure <laughs> so that's how i did that and you open it up and again i put this polaroid in here and she can uh, tuck in a photo and then i put a little tab and you open it up and it is like this again I did the same in here with the Polaroid she can tuck in the photo and this is just a text spot where she can write any notes if she'd like and then on this side this is falling out again we have a place to put a photo and then I just did a little text spot in here and you can put this goodies in I think I'm gonna have to put a paper clip in here or something so this is not always falling out and so you just put it like this and it closes up and then I just put some ribbon around I did not stitch the ribbon to the book I stitched the ribbon and then I glue it to the book and then I just used this really cool flower put some uh, what you call this velcro dots and attached it and I think it looks really simple but I think it was really cool really cute I couldn't decorate it very much anyway otherwise it wouldn't fit in the box and so this goes here and then on this side we have the binder this is just a shaker that I did in the front just to decorate it says brave and smart and I will have to glue that better and then on this side is just a little tuck spot where she can put maybe photos and do some journaling if she'd like and then on this side we have the other side of the tuck spot I just uh, cut around uh, round shape then I uh, folded in half and then I folded in half in here to make this tuck spots and in here I just put a bunch of ephemera that you can use I stitched it around and then in here I use one of these really cute uh, bags it's just this one is a sticker that I put in but this design it's how the bag is it's this one this is has another design but these are the bags they're really cool I got them on Aliexpress if I'm not mistaken a really while ago and then on this side I just made a little cluster and decorated and then on this side I really like how this one I just put a lot of ephemera in here I still have to organize this uh, this is just plain white paper drawing paper you know those um, what do you call it the uh, paper pad that's white for uh, kids usually bought this to do drawings at school I just took a sheet of it a little piece of it I uh, stitched it around this is a sticker and then I ripped some paper and put it and created these two tuck spots in here I really like how this one turned out and then I just decorated a little bit here on the bottom and then on this side I created a pocket I had this really cool tag I just stitched around it and I added this love in here and there 
you put this in here and then on this side I just made a envelope with my envelope plunger and this stream was Nicole that sent me and I just uh, glued in here I thought it looked really cool and I did I left it like this because I thought it would it looks nice playing like this didn't need any more embellishing and then I just put a little uh, velcro dot and then I put this really pretty clip that I got sent in here and then on this side I decorated and this is actually a pocket you can put things in here and I think it looks really cute let me just I'm Okay. And then on this side, this one, the holes are a little too close, so this is a little stuck, but it still moves, so it's I think it's okay. This I made a little something, not sure what this is, but I just thought it was fun. So you open it like this, and then this is a pocket in here. It's a like a little tuck spot. Let's see if I can find something small to put in here to show you. It is just a little tuck spot in here and then in here and then you open it up and you can put something in here like a, a photo or something that you would like. Let me see if I have something smaller that will fit in here. Like this see you can put something in there and this one is the same it opens to the other side and it has the little oh, Jesus. and you can put like a photo and then you can journal in here and I thought it was just funny and interactive and a little bit different I need to cut this thread a little bit this is too big okay and then you turn it around and it's just a simple page. You just have the, put your photo in here and here she can write the date or name or whatever she would like. I kept it really simple. And yeah, that's the binder mail that I made for Laurel. Let me think, let me know, <laughs> let me think. Let me know what you think down below if you think it's cool or not. It's the first time I make one like this. I think it turned out really, really cool. You really need to go check the unboxing video for May Archie's Mail that she sent to Faithy because it's just stunning, seriously. It's just everything that came out of that box was amazing. And the tutorial as well because she hers is just perfection. It's so, so perfect. It's amazing. So I will link everyone down below so you can go check those videos out. Let me know what you think and I hope everyone is having a great day. So bye.